she just located again and she's over this way instead of right over here but she hadn't sat down on him this time like she did the last time Welcome back to another episode of Louisiana Hunting. This week, I'm just taking Gypsy. Fury's in heat. Chunk got a thorn in his foot. I ain't putting up with Pablo and Tiger not hunting, so like I said last week, we'll take a better dog this week. So, I'm gonna just give y'all a little update on my dog pens real quick. I got old Chunk on quarantine. There's old Fury, and her belly's hurt. So give her some grass, cause she's been eating her shavings. Hey, old Gypsy love. And then we got the heat seeker. <laughs> he tells me when I got one in heat, so I don't have to worry about it. Oh, you ain't going. You ain't going. I just sprayed your kennels out. Come on, bud. Load up my truck. Turn that light off. Come on here, Gip. Gipsy. Hey. Well, I'm gonna have to go catch her. She's done left. But we got tiger. I need to cut the grass. That's tomorrow's project. But I got a tiger and buddy. Come on here, Gipsy. Help. Tiger and buddy. Old Gypsy was a little excited, wasn't she? Well, y'all hang tight. I'm gonna go get her, get her loaded up, and we're going to the woods. All right. Pretty much gonna be the same as last week, other than we're actually gonna make a tree tonight. I've got my fingers crossed. I brought a better dog. So anyway, without further ado, I'm gonna turn old Gypsy loose and see what she can do. Hey, old Gypsy. Get ahead, Fennec. Alright, everybody is on the injured reserve. I've got a chunk, got a thorn in his foot. He's still got an open wound. Fury is in heat. And I, like I said, I didn't feel like putting up with Pablo and Tiger just wanting to ride. So they got spoiled, which I hunted them a lot during squirrel season on foot, which is something they're not used to. And they did pretty good. I can't complain. Uh, they actually treated a few squirrels, ran a bear, a couple hogs. But I would expect that from them. turning loose in the same spot I turned chunk loose I know there's coons in here there's coon tracks over in that field where he was running that deer bear or whatever it was the other night I feel like it was a bear because there's a lot of bear sign on the, on the south side of that field and Pablo was opening up and running right along with him so I, I kind of feel like it was a bear it wasn't a bear it was a hog so nonetheless we just sitting and waiting. All right, Gypsy struck. We've been going for a whole minute and 59 seconds. Or no, seven minutes, I'm sorry. She's looking up. Let's go see what she got. Oh, 
little sister sitting sounding confident on that one. Now she's gonna shut up. I keep calling her little sister. She's big sister. Alright, we're gonna hold up. She's checking herself. She's gonna check herself a minute. She's gonna make certain she's right. It's the only aggravation she gives me is she, she's bad about checking herself. But she's pretty accurate. So what do you fuss about? Aggressive or checking herself? If I was in a competition hunt, this this wouldn't cut it. I'm not, so I don't care. But I'm finna check her with this thermal. She's just moved on. I don't even see her. I can hear her, but I don't see her. Oh, there she is. She's back over this way. I ain't gonna be able to tell until I find what tree she was in. That old canopy's thick. But. Give old AGM a. Shout out. It ain't just for finding the Ricky Bobbies. You can check your dogs too. See what they're doing. Alright, she just located again and she's over this way instead of right over here. But she hadn't sat down on him this time like she did the last time. And it's taken her, I don't know, about two minutes since she quit opening on this tree to that tree. So, while well, I'm sitting here letting her do her thing, i ask you a question. Now, she came into heat about middle of last month. She bled one drop and didn't swell. But Pablo was sure determined she was in heat. And I kept a, a pretty tight check on her. I don't know if she came into a false heat or a light heat. I mean, I want to comments below if y'all ever experienced that, because you know Fury's totally opposite. Fury looks like a slaughterhouse right now. She's swole up, you know, pretty good size. But uh, so there's no no denying she's in heat. I don't know about old Gypsy. She's gonna work it out right there close to the road. Eventually. Now granted, she ain't been out in a little over a month, so she may do something, she may not. I ain't expecting a hundred percent out of her tonight, other than she's excited, so it's a lot better so far than it was last weekend. So. That sounds a little better right there. I'm a little more overly confident than she is. She's right back over here where she was treeing a while ago.
I'm gonna let her settle down on it before I go to her. I'm only about 30 yards from her. See, she's checking herself again. Where you at? Get on that tree. Get on that tree. Is that where he's at? Get on that tree. Oh yeah, I got eyeballs. Let me show you. He's right there. Get on this tree. Come on. Right there. I got a video saved on my, on my thermal, so good girl. Speak to you. Well, drop number one resulted in a big old boar coon, so we're going to see what drop number two can come up with. We'll let her make up her own mind, dump her out the box, and let her go. This is the same place in pups was running around the other evening in the last video when I kept winding something so see what she can do right here and see she went in there in seven minutes and had that coon tree left it checked herself come back and had him so <clears throat> Alright, Gypsy is saying she's found him over here. We come all the way around the other side of the field over here. Mm. Mm. Little old viney tree. There's a very good possibility he's up there, Gypsy. Speak to him, sis. Speak to him, sis. Get on that tree. Short Moss's Creek will do. Didn't work a while ago, but... See no eyeballs just yet. Get on that tree, sis. She trailed this in a good long way, so. We'll check her with a thermal. Tree's so thick it's hard to see anything with a thermal even. Speak to him, sis. Get on that tree. Ain't a very big tree, but it's bushy. I'll show y'all in a minute. I'm trying to get him to look, so that's why I got my red light on. He's up there, he's in a tip top, but I don't see him. She may be lying. 
sure run him a long ways to fall treat on a on a slick, but this this don't look like no normal slick. I'd circle it if I was in a hunt. I mean, even on the thermal, I ain't getting a heat signature. Let me get my thermal put up and I'll show you all this old tree. It's a gnarly, bushy wonder. y'all I got my line I mean it's a little tree but it's bushy you can't see all the way up it you know if I get right here you really can't see up it heck that may be him sitting right there I can't tell I don't know all right sis get ahead in a hole. Get ahead. Pretty easy to get her move on. But, it is what it is. She ain't been hunted over a month. So, she misses one. Hey, get ahead. You better get ahead. That's about all it takes. I searched it with the thermal, squalled on a squaller. Can't see him with the red light or the white light. So I'm gonna go back out here and set on the ranger. Ain't too bad when she ain't 50 yards off out of the field. But she ran him all the way from where I'd originally parked up back over here. This done it again. We moved. He's out here about 65, 70 yards. These bugs is bad, so y'all gotta forgive me. Gotta go with the red light. I didn't get this bad till we got in the woods in here. Speak to him. Speak to him. Alright, she's in here in a briar patch. Treeing on a bush. I guess. Where's he at, sis? Huh, we caught her doing something stupid. I don't know exactly where she was at. She was in the briars whenever I first got here. Where's that, sis? Where's that, Gypsy? He ain't up that. You better get ahead. I thought she was in here treeing on that bush. No, she's in a hole. In a hole. You better not be no armadillo in this hole. You're gonna get some lightning in your life. Yo, that's briars. They ain't nothing nice. No, you see that? That's Sam. You best get ahead.
Well, I gave her a little bit. I don't think she felt it, but anyway, I messed that up. I told her to go find me a white coon. I found me a white possum. You eat your words. I want this. I'm gonna get her again. This time she's gonna be feeling it. I'm gonna let her go back over and I'm gonna juice her. And she'll go back over. If she'll go. Now this dog, that's the first possum I've ever had her on. Believe it or not. That's another problem when you got young dogs, you got trash. They ain't smelling nothing and they run across something. They're going to either tree it, bay it, or whatever. Like I said, that's the first possum she's ever been on. I'm waiting to see if she can come back into it. Well, from plus to circle to minus. That's going to do it for this week. That's what happens when you let a dog set up for a month. But when you're hunting gyps, happens you know when they're uh, in heat that's three weeks but I left gypsy up from just a little over a month just to make certain because I wasn't certain exactly when she came in and when she came out so oh heat seeker he he still thinks she's in but <laughs> I think uh, old fury's got him tricked but this has been another episode of Louisiana Hunt. Remember, it's all about these dogs, even if you have to set them up a month. She's still hunting, and I ain't ready to go home yet, so we're going to keep on going and see what else we can get stirred up. She's been pouting on me a little bit since I gave her a little bit of electricity. <laughs> so anyway till next time remember it's all about these dogs